Guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. We have started some stuff. We're getting things ready for our ESS supercharger that we introduced and revealed in the last video, but today we're doing headers. Now, without boring you to death on the deinstall and the reinstall of what's going on here, we've got a cool video because luckily, and this is an interesting story, um, we're going to get to compare the Cooks headers versus the ever popular Texas Speed. I'm not going to go into fitment because we'll discuss a little bit about that more in a second, but we're going to get to take a look at them side by side and up against the stock OEM header. So not very many videos on YouTube have them side by side. Now these are popular options, Cooks probably being the top tier as you guys know. You guys can see that we have already deinstalled the OEM manifolds. It took me a couple hours, not really that big of a deal. I've done this about 14 or 15 times on jack stands. So please drop a big old thumbs up for the hard work on jack stands. It is definitely not fun. But anyway, let's get to the video. So over here, we have a bunch of passenger side. Or I'm sorry, a bunch of driver side. We have the stock OEM. You guys are familiar with what these look like. Um, really not a bad design, but as far as pushing power, yeah, these things got to go bye-bye. So then in the middle, we have the Cooks, and then we have the Texas Speed. Now, so funny story is I got these Texas Speed headers for free. I got a buddy who had a buddy that wanted some headers installed, and I was like, hey, you know, bring me cash money, and then I'll get it done for you. And he's like, well, what if I just buy you a set of headers? Because I know that you're going to put them on the car anyway. And I was like, yeah absolutely let's go you know so he got the texas speed for me but uh my friends over there at hpr automotive really really were pushing me towards cooks and now i've had about everything under the sun and i've installed about everything under the sun except for cooks they're always really expensive and that's kind of why i just never pulled the trigger on them i have installed texas speed two or three times stainless power stainless work same thing probably three or four times done american racing I have done Corsa, which fit really great. Uh, probably some others in between, but I've never messed with Cooks. HPR was saying, hey, it's worth the money, it's worth the price increase, and I was really skeptical. So I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger, and this is what I have found uh, looking at these guys side by side. So you get to see the same thing that I can see on camera. Now this video is not to beat up on one company or the other. This is simply what I am seeing right in front of me and so we're going to go through the details of everything and show you what they look like. By the way, we're going to also do a driving review in this video. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure because we have another goodie to install with our Corsa exhaust and that is some resonators. We got some new Corsa resonators we're gonna put into, we got two of these, we're gonna put them in the exhaust system somewhere because a lot of guys like loud, but I am kind of maybe getting a little bit older and I want that deep throaty. I want loud, yes, but I want a deep and throaty exhaust note. So we're going to give those a uh, junior varsity try and see what they sound like as well. Don't know if it'll be in this video or the next. We shall see how far we get. But anyway, back to the headers. Let's take a look. Let's start with the Texas Speed. So both of these side by side actually have like a half inch i think it's a half inch thick or a quarter inch flange here uh, they're fine the cooks is going to be definitely a little bit different because you have the cutouts there might make for installing them a little bit easier because this is basically what you're going to pay the difference for is the fit on the cooks the texas speed are definitely longer so you can see them side by side now these kind of have a different shape they kind of crunch up and they come down i think the reasoning is for ground clearance but the texas speed is definitely uh longer now they're going to meet at like this area here for the factory connect or whatever lead pipe you decide to go with in the same location just the cooks will have a longer lead pipe versus the texas speed both of them have the merch bike i think is what's called the metal on both are i think 304 stainless however you can see that the quality the shine is a little bit different on the cooks and both of them maybe 304 but i think that the quality of the metal might actually be improved over here with the cooks another thing 
thing that I notice is you see here with the Texas Speed all the welds on the primaries coming all the way down. I mean, they're everywhere. The welding is very good. Okay, very good welds. But when you come to the cooks, there is none. It's all one piece mandrel bent on the primaries themselves. So this is definitely something that screams quality. The welding is a lot more beefy on these, on the Cooks versus the Texas Speed. Not that either one will fail. I think that they're both very good in their own way. The price difference between these two was about four hundred dollars there about all right now i have installed texas speed a couple of times before the fitment's very good on the driver's side but the passenger side has always been it's always been kind of an interesting story every single time i do it because you have to basically push that motor all the way over to get it away from the ac um block and i'll show you what that looks like that right there center screen is where you're gonna have problems and there's a bolt down there some somewhere too long story short you can get the texas speed and this is the same true with like uh the the stainless power you basically have to shift the motor over just a little bit on the motor mounts themselves which is not a big deal now the problem though is that with the TSP headers underneath the body of the car, the frame of the car, they're very tight. Thinner than a credit card. It's like like really tight. You got to get that motor all the way over to give some kind of clearance underneath the car. The TSP will come with O2 extensions. It will come with new gaskets. This is the cook stuff here, but it will come with new gaskets, new hardware. It will not. It will not come with header bolts so you're gonna to have to purchase those after the fact and if you want something good quality maybe like arp it's like another hundred bucks with the cooks they give you locking hardware check this out really high quality metal plus you're getting two o2 extensions instead of just one so the value is probably better here both will probably make the same amount of horsepower and torque i'm not really sure about the torque actually these might actually have the upper hand just the way that the everything thing is run but anyway let's see let's take a look any other differences both of them have angled o2 sensor fittings i think the metal thickness between the two is probably similar let's see this has you hear a little bit of the knocking where the primaries are actually kind of tapping against each other which is not good because that might lead to some false knock issues. The fitment is really tight. You can still see some daylight. It's just, I don't know. But um, again, you see these different welds here where they've done them on the jig. Very thick flanges, nonetheless, inside of here. I mean, the welding and all that stuff is very smooth, so no big deal. And then as far as the cooks goes, I just pulled them out of the package. They're a little bit dusty, but you can see the difference in the flange itself so kind of interesting there and again looking inside it's equally as good but as far as the way things sound so you hear a little rattle that's this thing moving around so let me see if i can isolate that noise a little bit all right so you don't hear any of that banging around metal the primary on primary action you don't hear any of that it's, it's a lot more solid versus again there's nothing back here moving around so it's just you can hear the echo over here you don't all right the cooks is actually routed a little bit different so it's going to fit with more clearance on the passenger side which is the problem child side on these s550 mustangs so let me finish up and install these uh cooks headers because that's what we're going to go with but i just figured we'd have a little side-by-side -side comparison video because why not? Might have to make this a couple different videos, but there is your side-by-side -side comparison. And if we continue this video, great. If not, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, have a great day, and let me know in the comments too, which one would you go with and why? And uh, God bless all of you, and I'll see you guys next time. Get ready for the first fire up, first drive, getting ready for the supercharger to go on our new Mustang GT. See you later.